Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISPTrainings.com. In this tutorial, I will be going to demonstrate you how to apply multi-threading in Python. So what let's understand what do you mean by multi-threading? Multi-threading means run several different programs concurrently. So we can run multiple programs together, uh, synchronously together. Multiple threads within a process share the same data space with the main thread and can therefore share information or communicate with each other more easily than if they were separate process. So if the threads, if we have got multiple threads, if they are working together, so they can share the information and also they can communicate with each other in comparison of if while they are work uh, while they are working as a separate process and uh, because they are threads so they do not require much memory overhead and they are cheaper than other processes as well they are very lightweight process and threads can be used for quick tasks like calculating results and also for running process in background while the main program running so if you want to achieve if you want to do multiple tasks together for that we can use multi-threading let's suppose I'm writing a program in we are developing a program in Python and at the back end we would like to test whether the syntax is okay or not or it happens in at present as well the IDLE interface which we are using right now so it so it automatically check the syntax as well and also it check the tabs the spaces everything so that is the that is an example of multi-threading. So let's see few examples how we will be going to create multi-threading program in Python. So for this, I'm going to start ideally interface and then I launch a new file. So first of all, we need to import the method. Import the we need to import a library. And that is the threading thread in library. So we used to import import thread. So the syntax for defining or to start a new thread is thread dot start underscore new underscore thread. And here we need to specify the parameters. So the parameters which we are specifying here. So this method basically calls and enables and fast and efficient way to create new threads in both Linux and as well as in Windows. This method calls returns immediately and the child thread start and call functions with the pass list of arguments. So we need to pass the arguments here. So we have to specify the list of arguments and we need to specify the uh, arguments which we are going to create while setting up a thread. So let's see a program in Python. So I would like to run multiple threads together to I will, I will be going to create start two threads together and both of them they will work concurrently. So for this I create one more library time. This is for current date and time. I specify a definition and I create print underscore time. That's the function name. This function name takes few parameters like thread name, comma, delay. Delay is to delay in process, delay in printing the method, pr printing the value or printing the output. I specify count is equal to zero. Then I write while, so this loop will run while count is less than five. And time dot sleep delay. This is to halt or this is to pause the syntax for a time being then count plus equal to one increment the value and also it will print the output it will print the result so I write print percent s percent s percent and uh, I need to call this I need to print the thread name so thread name comma and current time so time dot C time and in bracket time dot time so it will get the current time time dot time so first is for this one this bracket is closed 
and uh, this bracket is closed and one two three bracket close four one two three four bracket close here so we need to close four brackets and uh, then we need to call this function so i specify here i call here try function try uh, just to check just to make sure if there is any error it will display the output so i write thread dot start underscore new underscore thread so this will start a new thread and in this thread i pass first of all i call the function so i would i would like to call this print underscore time function and we need to specify the parameters so first parameter is the name so i write here thread one this will be the name and the delay delays let's suppose i'll want to delay for two seconds same uh, i'll copy paste it because i want to execute two threads together so I write here thread two and this delay will be four seconds and try accept and it will print error in threading so let's test this program and see the output let's check the output for this program so first of all I'll save this, save this code and I write thread three thread four and let's test this program so in order to test it we can simply click on run here or we can press f5 key as well so when I press f pre f5 key you can see the shell has been open and the thread the program execution started and the execution starts from thread one thread two thread one thread one thread two thread one thread one because the delay of time uh, on thread two is of for four seconds and the delay on thread one is for two seconds so that's why this happens so we can only control their delay we cannot control their execution in threading so this is how we can set we can create a thread program in python now in this program we have created a thread directly within this try try catch function now if i would like to create a thread using threading module so for that i will be going to customize this program to change this program so i'll remove the code the existing code and uh, I will be going to define a new subclass of a thread class and uh, in that thread class I, we will be going to override the init function to add additional arguments and later on we'll be overriding the self argument method the run method to implement what the thread should be do when started and once we have created the new thread subclass we can create an instance of it and then start a new thread by invoking the start function which in turn call the run method so in this program I will be going to create a thread module and with the thread module it will extend the thread function thread class and in that thread when we extend that thread class we'll be going to create two functions init function and run function and we'll be ex going will be explicitly calling the thread function so i call here uh, i create here exit flag this is just for test uh, this is just for uh, very for setting up the uh, it's a para it's a variable and we specify a value to zero to it then i create class my thread and this will extends threading thread threading and it will extend thread and because we are extending this thread so we do not need to specify import thread we can we will be going to import threading here and then I write here I specify a definition uh, a function here def init and self comma thread ID comma name comma counter that's the function and here I write threading dot thread dot init underscore underscore init underscore underscore self then I write I initialize the values self dot thread id is equal to thread id self dot name is equal to name self dot counter is equal to counter then I create a new function here def run so whenever we call that start function this will this will call this run function so self 
self and here I write print starting plus starting comma self dot name and print underscore time this will call the print underscore time function so we need to will be going to specify this function I pass here self dot name comma delay comma counter so I pass three parameters into it and at end I, I pass print exiting comma self dot name exiting comma self dot name then I create this function so this function is not be a part of this class so I write here def print underscore name oh sorry print underscore time this function the same function and this function takes three parameters so first one is thread name comma delay comma counter and then I check while counter if exit flag thread dot exit else time dot sleep delay and then I print percent s percent s percent thread name comma time dot c time time comma time this is to display the time so the uh, one two the brackets so this one close this one close and the three brackets and then I want to de decrement it so I write here counter minus equal to one now we need to define the instance of this thread class so I create here thread one is equal to my thread and because this my thread this takes three parameters thread ID name and counter so thread ID is one name is thread one and counter is for one in same manner thread two is equal to my thread two comma thread two comma two and then we need to start the thread so we need to explicitly start the thread here because we are creating a thread by using a module so we need to explicitly start the thread so right I write thread one dot start in same manner I write thread two dot start and if we do not and once when we specify here start function it it executes run function this will call the run function and then I, at the end I write print exiting main thread so let's save and test this program so I'll save this code this is a, uh, save this code and let's test it so when I execute this program when I run this program I got a message you can see it start printing thread 1 thread 2 thread 1 thread 1 thread 2 and when thread 1 execution ends it display a message exiting thread 1 and in same manner when thread 2 execution ends it display method exiting thread 2 so this is how we can create thread using threading module the in same program if you want to do the synchronization basically if you want to synchronize the thread so the synchronization means we can the uh, we can implement a locking mechanism that allows us to synchronize thread and uh, a new lock is created by calling the lock method which returns the new lock the acquire blocking method of the new block new lock object is used to force thread to run synchronously the optional blocking parameters enables you to control whether the thread ways to acquire the lock or not and if whenever we want to release the lock we will be going to use the release method so there are two methods which we'll be going to use first is the acquire blocking method and second one is the release method so we can apply a lock and once a thread will entered into the locking mode so until and unless that thread will not execute execution is not completed for that particular thread the lock will not release so let's see how to apply a lock and how to create a synchronous thread in 
python so now we'll be going to see how to apply a locking mechanism to for working on synchronizing the thread in the same program so for this in this run and after this self name or print starting self name uh, i just specify here print starting self name i write here thread lock thread lock dot acquire thread lock dot acquire and so this lock will acquire and this print exiting so in, so we remove this print exiting and to release the lock i write here thread lock thread lock dot release so this statement will acquire the lock this will initiate a locking mechanism and this will release the lock on the on a particular thread then this one is okay and we do not need this exiting option this is for delay counter one and we are creating thread now before this we need to initiate this we need to create this thread lock class so right here thread thread lock is equal to threading dot lock and threads equal to so all the threads will be entered into it then we create two threads and then later on we'll be going to start why we start the thread and after the start the thread we append the thread to the thread list so how to add the thread in the thread list so i write here so this is basically a thread list and we need to add these two threads the thread thread one and thread two we need to start add into this thread list so i write here threads dot append and thread one threads dot append thread two and we'll wait for all the threads to complete so i specify here for t in threads so until and unless all the threads will not finished it will not finish the loop will not finished and then at the end we write or uh, exiting main thread so that is not mandatory so i'll just re i'll just we have already specified here exiting main thread so this will at the end once all the locks will be released all the threads will be completed and the lock will all the lock will release from all the threads it will print the exiting main thread so let's save and test this program so now when i execute this when i run this program you can see it's starting the thread one and the thread one has initiated and because it has started with thread one so the lock will be put on this thread one and until and unless all the thread one instance will not completed it will not release the lock so first all the thread one instance will run and then all the thread two instance will run and at the end it display a message exiting main thread so that's all in this video and uh, today we under today we learn that how to apply a multi threading in python that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on python i will be coming up with some new concept new topics in python till then have a nice day ahead goodbye